हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेरी नाइस मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम दीपक कुमार पुष्टि फ्रॉम मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल कुंती नगर नवादा का स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर ई लर्निंग क्लास व्हिच इज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल नवादा बिहार स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द थर्ड एनुअल लेक्चर ऑफ क्लास 6 ऑफ द चैप्टर 3 दैट इज आवर हेडर एंड फुटर so student basically today we will discuss the topic is our header and footer header and footer okay students so this one this is a very important features for the ms word so student what do you mean by header and footer we know from the head header from the foot footer okay So student, what is the use of this feature? We will discuss that one. Okay. So students, first of all, I want to say about that. All have the book. Yes or no? Any of the book, what you have, and you see on the book, what the space of the top part of the book and bottom part. It has displayed. About the sum of the books information, I am not telling about the book content. Okay, so I am telling about the books information like books name, author, page number, yes or no, company name. So this type of the information are displayed each and every page at the top of the page, yeah. when that type of the information will be displayed on the top of the page the blank space a top of the blank space of the page is called as the header and the blank space of the bottom of the page is called as the footer so basically header and footer of some is used to give the extra information about our documents suppose we you make the document so you want to give that document to the other by your name so student in that case what we you do you write the name each and every page so you think how much it will take time if you write each and every page page number your name give the picture or date and time So this type of information when you insert each and every page, you think how much time it will take? Yes or no, student? We can insert, but time take. Yes or no? So student, to avoid this type of the complexity, we better to use the word header and footer of sir. Is that clear? Once again, I am telling you, student, header means. The blank, the top of the blank space of the page. Uh, yeah, each and every top of the blank space of the page is called as header, and each and every bottom of the blank space of the page is called as a footer. Okay, so student, header means what? That means top of blank. Blank space, blank space of page. Okay, so header and footer means blank spot, button of button of blank button of blank space of page. So you decide in which and name will be displayed in header and page number will be displayed in footer. Yeah, page number if you want to display in the header and name will be displayed in the footer. That is dependent on you. Is that clear, student? So in that case, we can easily use the word switch. Okay, student. Now we discuss the word how to apply the header and footer in our word. So, student, to apply the header and footer, each and every 
page of the what document to follow the sum of the steps. What are the steps, students? It is very simple. So first of all, click on, click on insert tab. So header and footer option is available in where student insert tab. Okay, student. After clicking on the insert tab, then click on the header and footer option. Header and footer. header and footer okay students first of all click on the insert tab then click on the header and footer option is that clear so student after clicking on the header and footer option okay students now if you want to give any type of the information okay students so after clicking on the header and footer option They are used with the option. One is the header, another one is the footer. You choose either one is the header or choose footer. The student choose the option. Choose the option. Then choose the option from the. Choose the option from the header. Okay, student. Only design. 
this one okay student so after switching this one okay yes students i have forgotten one thing to say give the information like this one okay give the information type of picture click on the go to here after picture click on the this one give the information like age number date and time after name picture click on the go to header and footer option which is available in the navigation bar on the design here yeah. okay student then switch between the header and footer in the navigation bar on the design here yeah. is that clear or not students is that clear after this one student what then click close then click after switching then click close and you see what we insert the information each and every page header and footer information will be displayed is that clear so in this way you can insert the information in the blank area of the top and bottom of the is that clear student is that clear or not so student this is our header and footer the last topic of the third chapter is our printing document is our printing document printing document student printing document what do you mean by printing document do you know printing mean after making the short copy you want to make a hard copy you mean that information will be displayed on the page when the information will be displayed on the page what we type on the computer it will be displayed on the page that is called as a what hard copy and how to make the hard copy by the printing option is that clear student is that clear or not i am not telling about your written work i am telling about the your typing work what you type on the word document exactly that information will be displayed on the blank the blank page in four size page okay student so when that type of the information will be displayed on the a four size paper that is called as a printing document a hard copy okay and how to make that hard copy by the help of the printing option and how to make the print out print there are questions very simple click on file tab click on file tab the file tab option for the 2010 version and in the 2007 click on the what should i click on the our that is the office button is that clear click on the office button is that clear is that clear student click on the office button here click on the file tab then step 2 Click on print option. Click on print option. Then click on print option. Okay, so after clicking on the print option, in that printing total box will be displayed. Play printing dialog box will be displayed. And if you want to change the setting, you can change the setting like. how many pages you same page how many times you want to make the print out if you have got 20 pages from where where you want to print suppose 5 to 10 or yes, 6 to 10 okay that means specify the page number okay student that that's why one of the option will be there one is a all option one is a current page and another one is a between Yes, sir, no student. That means all means all the twenty pages will be printed. That means you click on the that all check box. That means all the pages will be printed. Okay. When you click on the current page, the reason to which page is displayed, that page only be what student printing. If you want to give the page number, specify the page number. Now I want to make only the ten. To twelve, yeah, ten comma twelve comma fourteen. This one is your student part between and. Or one of the box will be there. Go 
go there, click on there, and give the page number. That I got the page number. Okay, student. So this is our setting. Okay. Then give the number of pages. Okay. Then choose the which type of the printing you want to print. Suppose you have three, four printer. One is your Canon, one is your HP. Okay, so one is your Xerox. So this type of the three type of the printers will be there. You choose from there. Okay, student. After that, either you can choose the which format letter ya A4. Okay, student. You specify. In this way, after doing this one, all the setting option after the print option. After clicking on the print. Now all type of the setting option will be there. You choose one by one, okay, student. Then click on the print button. You see the same information or has displayed on the computer will be displayed on the page also. Is that clear or not, student? Is that clear or not? So in this way, student, what we can easily make the print job, okay, student? You can click also print the upper after click on the. I have in the print option you can click on the print preview. What is the use of print preview? After making the document, how it will look like? Whether the information has been arranged in a proper format or not. Is that clear? Suppose I have made the one page, but it has displayed on the second page also. Okay? So it can be known by the what? Our print preview. Whether your mar margin is okay or not. Left, right, top, bottom. All the four types margin are in the specific way or not. Specific size or not. Specific manner or not. Is that clear, student? So that type of the information can be displayed on the print preview. So you can take the idea from the print preview. What type of changes we can do? Okay, student, what type of changes we need? We can collect the information or we can take the idea from the print preview. Okay, student, so after we click on the print, then we can the print preview and in the print preview, we take the idea, then go to the print setting option. What type of the you have seen has been problem on your page? You go there and Setting the page, okay, then click on the print button, your page will be printed. Is that clear on the student? So in this way, students, we have completed our third chapter of class 6. Is that clear, student? So student, you watch it this one. If you have got to ask your teacher and make the exercise. That's it. Thank you.